Good morning, everybody. It is November 7th, 2022 in Big Bear Lake, California. The second winter type storm of the season is just beginning now. So unfortunately, um, it's not gonna be nearly as much snow as we anticipated, but I'm still gonna be hopeful about it. It keeps on fluctuating from a lot of snow to hardly any, to a lot of snow to hardly any. Um, so basically right now it is, let's see, it's 10, hang on a second. It is 10.07 in the morning and 45 degrees outside and we're getting a little bit of drizzle. So this is what, this is what I do. This is what I do. Um, but yeah, so, oh my gosh, look at above snow summit, just how nasty those clouds look so everything's coming in um as i said it, it just doesn't seem like we're going to get as much a uh, wintry precip as we wanted but fingers crossed that we do guys um it, my prediction is six inches total out of everything um and that will be once it's noon on wednesday that's that's going to be it basically it shows that there's a chance at like maybe four or five o'clock for another hour of snow on wednesday but through most of today it's going to be rain and then in the evening time it's going to switch over to snow we could get one to three inches of snow tonight and then tomorrow during the morning hours and daytime hours it looks like we could get maybe an inch or two of snow mixed in with a bunch of rain um, but then in the evening time we could get five to eight inches of snow on tuesday night and then once come wednesday morning another maybe one two three inches of snow maybe but yeah i'm not too uh confident about it but it does look nasty out here and i'm very excited so basically as i said we just started getting a little bit of drizzle two two seconds ago and uh, that's this is what i do i'm obsessive compulsive about this i love doing these videos i love doing these videos for you guys as well it's it's you guys make me feel so great inside um once again uh we got these beanies that i'm trying to sell because uh if you guys have watched this channel for a while you know i'm i'm never pushing them but like I'm really trying to push them because I've I got a few extra bills and stuff like that I still won't ask people to subscribe or hit the like button or hit the notification bell because this channel is super authentic and I don't want it to be like every every, every other channel where it seems like everyone's just trying to make a buck instead of actually um, being passionate about what they love to do and I'm passionate about this I love it um, so yeah so anyway once again November 7 2022 we're on Big Bear Boulevard in Big Bear Lake California and uh yeah got this weather coming so hope you all are doing great today um yeah as you guys know i'm obsessive about this and i'll never miss any storm i've never missed a storm in the eight years that i've lived here not one storm um that's why i'm never able to vacation in the winter time but i never vacation anyway but yeah let's uh let's keep our fingers crossed that we get something good out here ladies and gents so um, let's see here. What else was I going to say? Because I never shut up. What else was I going to say? Um, oh, yeah. I'll post a clip of the beanies at the end of this video. It's like a 42-second clip so you guys can see what colors I have and whatnot. Once, once again, 100% fine merino wool. The logo for the channel on the front of the beanie is a leather patch. Like, guys, I didn't, I didn't cut any corners when it comes to the quality of these. I got the idea of these from my Gucci beanies, which were all like 400 to $550. Um, it's the exact same beanie, the exact same beanie, but the same fabric, everything. However, it's not nearly that amount of money. Um, anywho, yeah, so we're on Big Bear Boulevard getting ready for the storm. It looks like we, we should start getting a more steady rain at about two or three o'clock this afternoon. But obviously after this video, if I, if I see it raining, harder i'm gonna come out and record it because that's that's what i do if it picks up i come back out if it stays like this i won't go back out until it starts to pick up later on when it's supposed to but when it comes to supposed to it never happens um the forecasting up here is really horrible um yeah so i'm i'm i always try now uh to be hopeful like expect the worst but hope for the best basically so yeah, anyway, the lake's right here to the right. It's looking mighty ominous over there. Super loving this type of weather. Hope you guys are as well. I know a lot of you wanted to come up for this storm, so I hope those of you who wanted to are up here already or literally making your, your way right this second because I do not want you guys driving in the nasty conditions. I love you guys too much. I don't want to hear about any bad accidents. 
Um, unfortunately, that's a part of this area is uh, um, sometimes tragedy happening because the weather is so bad, the roads are so bad. Obviously, right now they're not bad, but um, yeah. So we're gonna drive over kind of close to the dam and then come back. But we're heading into the part of town where it looks like we got some more precipitation coming down. And that's just what I do. I look at the radar and I try to find where the moisture is so I can show it to you guys. Let you guys see with your own eyes what to expect. Look, you can see the ground's even more wet over here. Uh, but yeah. So, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Once again, I hope you all are doing great. Hope you all are staying safe out there. Hope you're in the path of the storm as well, even down the hill, just so we can get some moisture and you guys can get some precipitation and just, just be happy, happy, happy. Makes me super happy. I thought I was a very weird individual because of what I do, um, but apparently a lot of you love it just as much and that makes me feel really good that I'm not the only nerd. Um, let's see here. Yeah, there's a lot more precip over here as you guys can see. So, yeah, I got to go back down the mountain today, you guys. Can you believe that? I have to go to AAA because uh, there was a recall on my 2019 Subaru, and uh, I got it taken care of, but then I had my wife go in to just hand them the, the paperwork, and they wouldn't let her do it. it makes no sense to me, but um, so I got to go down. We're going to go down together in a cut, like maybe a couple hours at the most just to... Uh, get that taken care of because I'm already late on my my registration but it wouldn't have been late if I would have received the the mail from the DMV about the uh, recall and this and that I would have had it taken care of a long time ago but now I'm past due and it's just I got to pay those like those punishment fees not good not fun but we do have the snow tires on the car you guys and once we get our first snow from this storm I'm going to upload the 30 second clip of me at the tire place getting the tires put on um, and then show you guys the receipt just so you guys know what to expect when you guys are going to put your snow tires on oh yeah Good to see you guys. Every time I hit the record button, no matter what mood I'm in, makes me super happy right away. I feel like each and every single one of you are with me while I'm doing this. It's, I, I, I don't know how to articulate it, but that's, it's, it's a really incredible feeling. It really is an incredible feeling. Um, so thank you guys for everything. Appreciate it. Let's go get all this weather. So yeah. As I said, the storm is here. This is just the front push of the storm. Not, not much with it in terms of moisture. The, our significant moisture is gonna happen on Tuesday. Um, tomorrow's gonna be pretty good. Well, tomorrow is Tuesday. <laughs> Today's gonna be pretty good, but uh, not like tomorrow. So guys, please keep your fingers crossed that we do get a little bit colder than anticipated so we can have more snow. <clears throat> And I want each and every single one of you who has the opportunity to come up here to come up here, but be as safe as possible and just have a great time. Have a wonderful time. I love seeing families together up here, sledding with the kids and just seeing that, just that pure unadulterated joy and love coming from all your hearts. Those smiles that I see are just amazing. I love you guys so much and I want you guys to be nothing but happy. And I know this is a great place to take a load off. Um, yeah, so. Anyway, we're still on Highway 18, AKA Big Bear Boulevard, headed towards the Big Bear Dam, and then we're gonna turn around ski. Or maybe I'll just continue around the lake. You know what, maybe I'll just do that. All depends on, uh, on my, my time right now, but I'll figure it out. I'm excited, we got the snow tires, as I said, so we're driving on the new snow tires. I'll show you guys what the name of the snow tires is when I upload our first snow video from this storm. But yeah. Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. This is so gorgeous. 
Woo, it is so spectacular. So what was I getting? Just so pretty. I'm hoping that we don't get many differences in the weather at like three or four in the morning because I do need sleep. Um, but you, you guys know that no matter what, I will be out there doing it and doing it. Wow, doing it and doing it and doing it. Wow. So we're getting close to the damn dam, to the John Claude Van Dam. Oh, I really hope a lot of you come up here just to have a darn blast. The snowfall makes me feel so good inside. As I've mentioned to you guys numerous times, the reason I started this channel was because I was pretty much exiled from my family eight and a half, nine years ago. Um, and the only thing in life that would make me happy at, at, at that point was just being in the snow or seeing it snow. I can go through anything. It's like the best drug in the world for me is being in the snow. I can literally face anything. I can face life on life's terms when it's like that, which leads me to believe and understand that if I can feel those feelings without having to take any mind altering substances, then that means that I have the ability to, and I need to stop using excuses like when the relapses have come and this and that. Um, I'm very brutally honest with you guys because I'm hoping that that my issues might be able to help you guys. My shortcomings, my character defects, all those things might be able to help you guys. Um, those of you who who are suffering and so, so you also don't feel like you're suffering alone. <clears throat> I'm just over nine years clean from alcohol, which I've been in nine rehabs and two sober living houses. And it's just really important to me that, that you guys do all you can to believe in yourselves, the ones who are struggling and just know that you are loved. You just gotta love yourself. So we're coming up to the dam right now. As you can see, it's the damn dam. So we're not gonna go all the way around. Uh, yeah, maybe we will. You know what, let's just go all the way around the lake. I just hate putting all these miles on my brand new car, but the obsession of what I do will definitely trump anything else when it comes to my concerns about fiscal gains or losses or putting miles on the car or anything, which I, I guess are synonymous. Because the more miles you have on the car, the less the car's worth. Um, yeah. So now we're on Highway 38. So when you get to the Big Bear Dam, if you make a left instead of crossing the bridge, you'll be heading towards Fonskin to get into town the other way. And I suggest this route so often when we do have big snowstorms, especially on the weekends when a bunch of people come up. Just so you guys, you'll still hit a little traffic over here, but it's nothing like it is on that side of the lake, which you can't even see. Cause it's so unbelievably cloudy. But yeah, so once again, I believe we got about, my, my thoughts are we'll probably get five or six inches total out of everything by the time Wednesday afternoon comes but the total precipitation amounts could, could be great. And it's something that our lake needs. Um, as I mentioned to you guys in a couple videos prior, when it comes to our lake filling up, um, for the most immediate impacts and the best impacts, we do want the rain. A lot of people do believe that with a snowpack, that's gonna help fill, fill the lake up uh, more significantly and steadily, but the fact is, when it comes to snowpack, a lot of that snow evaporates before it gets a chance to get down to the lake. So that's why if we get good heavy rains, uh, that's why it's it's best to fill up the lake. Um, it's, it's good either way, but uh, if that's all we wanted to do, then I would pray for rain constantly. In the summer times, you guys, we've actually filled up the lake um, with just a a couple massive thunderstorms in the past. So it's, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And look at this, there's some blue sky over here, over towards Baldwin, which is not a surprise. I don't know if you guys can see, but look at look at the blue sky over there. There's not a cloud in the sky, just like east and south of these clouds right here. That's unbelievable. <laughs> it is so cool, 
So cool, guys. Um, we're two miles from Fonskin. Look at that. Oh my gosh, there's nothing over there. It's just blue over there. So we're gonna we're gonna get over there for sure. Right now we're going 40 miles per hour on, uh, as I said, Highway 38. This is what we're doing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apple Play, yes, CarPlay. As I do every video, thank you guys again for all the love and support that you guys show me. It's second to none, and it was so unexpected doing this channel. Oh, as I was saying about creating this channel, um, I did it because I was exiled from my family. Um, and it's not because I'm a bad person, you guys. I don't want you guys to think that or judge me like that. Um, I've gotten into it with, with you guys about it, and I definitely will this season for sure to, to, to share my experience, strength, and hope with you all. Um, but basically also, I, so I moved up here due to my family not wanting me around, and it's just very, very painful. But this was the only place that I would have moved or or wanted to move to or else who knows what I would have done to myself as horrifying as that is to to say I was very weak I was very 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 weak um, and also I, so when I started doing the videos when I moved up here I couldn't afford even a thumb drive you guys to save the videos I couldn't afford anything like that and with all these videos and the length of some of these videos it, it I would have had to buy hundreds of thumb drives and unfortunately couldn't afford it so i thought hey i'm being super smart i'll post them on youtube because i can store them there for free oh my gosh oh my gosh that's a great idea and i made them public because i figured if it helps my depression maybe it'll help other people out so i wanted to share that and i didn't think anyone would actually subscribe i really didn't look at the blue skies look at that i didn't think anyone would actually subscribe to the channel you guys but uh, it's a lot different than I anticipated but that's the reason why I don't ask people to subscribe or hit the like button or the notification bell because I want it to be very authentic and I want you guys to know that I'm doing this because I do love it and yes all the help that that you guys have sent over the past few years is truly 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 helping me and thank you guys so much like thank you guys so much it just it makes me want to cry thank you guys so much for all the help always um, you guys have been through the ups and downs with me and and as I said if I can impact just one person's life Then I am so happy and my job is done I will continue doing what I can to put smiles on your guys faces and and uh, Answer your questions to the best of my ability Thank you guys so much So we're entering fawn skin don't blink Because we'll be out of fawn skin in just a moment at least out of the downtown part through these little towns, guys, you want to go the speed limit. You do not want to speed. I am telling you, you do not want to speed. Not a good thing to do. Because our town also relies on those types of fiscal infusions, which is giving people tickets and DUIs and stuff like that um, to help our economy. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's the truth. And, I, and I'm I'm not upset about it. I, I, I get upset because I don't want you guys to have to come up here and then pay a ticket or anything like that or even go to jail for a DUI just please please be super careful worst case you guys like like I'm if I'm available I I will pick you up and take you where you need to go um, I don't want you guys to get hurt I love you guys so anyway let's uh yeah Let's do this. So back to uh, the date, it's November 7th, you guys, 2022. And we are getting ready for our biggest snowfall of the season. It's only our second storm, but it's the biggest snowfall of the season coming up so far. And I couldn't be happier. Disappointed because it's apparently not gonna be as much as possible. And as I mentioned before, we don't, we don't ever get like more snow than they predict. It, it it it's never wrong in our favor. They always over predict. And I have my thoughts on 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 why, but that's neither here nor there. Um, let's see. I'm gonna turn on my heated steering wheel right now because it's a little chilly. 
I can't believe I, I just said that. I have a heated steering wheel. Can you believe that? Like, what the heck? Well, yeah, so. This lane assist is awesome. It just, it just bounces you back into the lane when you go over, over the line. It's pretty cool. so beautiful out here look at that look at that just a beautiful place I'm so lucky to live here yeah this is going to be uh, one of many videos for this storm so I just hope you guys are ready I hope I'm not inundating you guys too much this is just what I do Look at that view. I think that's Lagunita Lodge straight ahead, but it, on the other side of the lake, but it might not be. There is the solar observatory right there. That white deal right there, that thing sticking up right there with the, the Sputnik-like top. And you guys don't ever hesitate if you have any questions about anything about Big Bear. I might not know the answer. And if I don't know the answer, I'm I'm not going to just make something up, you guys. I promise you that. I'll I'll do some research on what you're asking me just to just just to verify that what I'm I'm thinking is correct or as I said if I don't know what I'm talking about with the question received, then I will definitely research it for y'all. that what happened here what happened here I don't know what that's all about but it is what it is I started the time lapse as well this is gonna be a much better time lapse I put it instead of 10 second intervals 30 second intervals because it's gonna be three days so it's gonna be not the longest video but it's gonna be beautiful. I know it will. I'm super excited about that. So this is what town looks like. As you can see on this side of the lake on North Shore, there's no snow left. There's absolutely nada. Nada, brada. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Oh, we're gonna drive into the blue, the blue skies over here, guys. I think that's just awesome. It's such a beautiful contrast. It really is such a beautiful contrast. It's like Armageddon to heaven. So we started this drive from Moon Ridge Road and Big Bear Boulevard, basically, just so you guys can kind of get a sense of how long it takes to drive around the whole lake. It's not, not much of a drive. I think it takes maybe just under 30 minutes. Actually, I should know that, like to the second, because of the hundreds and hundreds of times I've done this drive over the past eight years. But look at how beautiful that blue is straight ahead. Oh my gosh, just gorgeous. Just spectaculoso. Yeah, so keep your fingers crossed that my laptop uploads these videos. When I when I was able to get that new MacBook, um, it's right now, as you know, it's the end of 2022, so I figured I would get a late 2022 model. Well, they sent me an early 2021 model, and I was so upset. So I sent it back, and then I sent my other one in to get fixed. Didn't I didn't think it would have a chance to get fixed. Lo and behold... They fixed it, but it's still not working well. The screen works great now, but the unfortunate thing is I don't, um, the battery literally just after about five to seven seconds of, of turning it on, 
my laptop, it, it, it gets so hot and I'm so worried that it that it's gonna die on me. Um, but I returned the, the, uh, the new one because I got the old one fixed, not realizing that they didn't fix it the way that I thought it was fixed. <laughs> so um, I'll be so miserable if I don't have a laptop to help me because I'm worried that this other laptop's gonna, gonna die on me again. It's so important for me to get these videos out to you guys. That snow you see on the hill right there, that's Snow Summit Ski Resort, you guys. Oh, it's so gorgeous over here. Oh, oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's gorgeous, guys, oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, guys. I want some cookies and some snow. <laughs> no, my friend, you're not getting it. Why not? Well, because, my friend. All right, so we're coming up to Stanfield Cutoff, which is where we would usually turn, but we're actually going to keep on going until we hit the blue skies and then turn. We're already at 26 and a half minutes. So we're gonna go straight. As I said, usually we would be turning right there. on on my phone real quickly to use maps in our play allow maps to use your location on your phone okay you got it well I'll get that figured out shortly Oh, you know what? We'll drive by where I got in my car accident. I'll show you guys exactly where I got in the car accident and what was what, what was happening. I wasn't paying attention at all because I'm in my 40s and I've never been in a car accident. And I just, I guess, I guess subconsciously I felt like I was invincible, but clearly I wasn't. Look at those blue skies, unreal. Unbelievable, so beautiful. But it's amazing how quickly things change up here. You know, we could literally go have lunch and come back out and that'll be black or dark gray like it is right now, right above us. But we're coming up to the location where I got in the accident. Ain't tough. Okay. We're coming up to it. And then look in the road because there's probably still stuff from my accident. I mean, I smashed into this person. I felt so bad. Thank goodness they're okay. Thank goodness they're okay. I'm not gonna make that same mistake again. <laughs> you guys have noticed that my, uh, the technology that makes sure that my eyes are staying on the road. You haven't heard that beep at all today yet. I'm really, really doing my best to focus. I hope I didn't pass it. Did I pass it? No, I don't think I passed it. So we're still in a winter storm watch it's, it hasn't turned over to a warning yet but it's definitely going to that i can guarantee you all okay we're coming up to it i believe unless i passed it did i pass it i think i long no i passed it a long time ago oh my gosh maybe i'm suppressing it out of my freaking memory because it was so scary for me i, I don't know but it was right so for instance 
I'm going this direction and there was a car right in front of me stopped to turn left into a church called St. Joseph's and I just I just wasn't paying attention and I ran right into the back of them at about this speed which is the speed limit and it's it's fast it's fast they were completely stopped all right here is Greenway we would usually turn right down there but we're gonna go all the way to paradise we would usually go there I don't think we're going to make it all the way to the full blue skies, but we're going to get <clears throat> close because I just don't want to have to drive all the way through Baldwin right now because <clears throat> not really worth it with not any snow on the ground or or, or, or or anything like that. I love doing this and I love doing these long drives and recording as much of the town as I can, but we're going to turn here on Paradise. Man, look at the blue. Look at the blue. There's some snow, new snow up on the mountain up there. It's so beautiful. But this is what I'm talking about. Hang on a second. Oh my gosh, it's so spectacular, you guys. Look at how pretty that is. Just beautiful. And that's the Baldwin area. And you guys will hear me talking about what I coined as the Big Bear Snow Rule. You'll hear it all. I like to let you guys know what I'm thinking and this and that, as a matter of fact. Just blue as can be. And then it gets nasty straight ahead. As you can see, there is snow up there. That's, that's all new snow from this storm right now. Gosh, we're right on the edge. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. Right now, as I said, we're on Paradise and we'll be coming up to, Bi to Big Bear, or to, oh my gosh, Big Bear Boulevard and turning right to head back into town. If I go straight, it's the short, you know what? I'll show you the shortcut later when it's snowing, but I don't want you guys to waste your time up here with any, with traffic or anything like that. I want you guys to spend your hard earned money enjoying your time up here, not sitting in traffic. So I will do everything I can to make your day better all the time. Okay, so we are at Big Bear Boulevard now. And we're gonna hang a Roscoe. It's a big truck right there, jeez Louise. Hey, hey, Bob, Reba. Okay, so we are in Big Bear City, y'all, and we are going to be headed back into Big Bear Lake. We're, we're, we are going to stay on the main road, just so you, for those, of, because most of you, that's what you guys take. You guys don't know too much of the back roads, so I'll give you something visually that you're used to and accustomed to, so you can uh, you know, feel more comfortable and feel more nostalgic like you are here and bringing back memories. Community market right here to the left, or right here to the left, to the left there. That is a staple of this town that has been there forever. Black and white photos from many, many years ago, it's there. And right here, Big Bear Smoke and Vape, the owner is such a good dude, you guys. He's, he's, he's a good husband, good father. They have a bunch of like little Big Bear trinkets and stuff like that too. And um, I always suggest to you guys, like uh, I'm always gonna help out the good people who are trying to help themselves out and always looking out for others. The owner's name is Sahil. He is such a good dude, like such a good dude. And anything I can to help him out, I absolutely will. And I would never steer you guys wrong. If they're a, a good friend, but they don't have a good business, a good business or good ethics or, or good business practices, which I guess are synonymous as well, um, then I would never ever refer you guys anywhere like that because I want you guys to have the best experience. And he's amazing. He has two shops up here. That one's called Big Bear Smoke and Vape One. And then in Big Bear Lake, he has Big Bear Smoke and Vape Two. Go figure, right? One and two, there you go. 
There you go. Yo. This is called Dead Man's Curve, what we're coming up right now. You'll see there's no barrier on the right-hand side here. With these cars coming the other direction, I don't know how they don't slip and slide out and hit these houses down here. It's shocking to me. It's shocking to me how I've never seen that yet since I've lived here. Thankfully. Thankfully, but it's, yeah, it, 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 it gets treacherous right there, but I, you, I've just never seen an accident right there. So we are, as I said, in Big Bear City. Once we get to this stoplight up here and start to make our way across the stoplight, it's, it'll turn into Big Bear Lake. So we did a little longer than just around the lake, but as I said, I wanted to get as close to those blue skies as possible, just so you guys can see the variance, the difference. Just, oh, it's so beautiful. I know it seems like, why is he so excited about these things? Well, I'm telling you, it's very exciting for me. It really is. I know different strokes for different folks. I get it, I get it, but it makes me happy. And then I turn into complete dork number one here's our convention center and now look Big Bear Lake City Limit bada bing bada boom our sister town is called Aptenu Austria it's one of the most beautiful places that I've I've ever seen in my life I think it's Austria Aptenu I believe so that's a sledding place for you guys I think they're actually open already they've been open for a couple weeks i believe but yeah just to recap we've been getting a little bit of of of, of drizzle right now this is the very start of this next storm and i never miss it for the world and over there that neighborhood that i'm pointing at right now is my favorite neighborhood in all of big bear it's just a little house on the prairie feeling of how beautiful it is. It's so gorgeous over there. Big houses. When this is full of water on this side, it's amazing. Okay. I'm so excited for these midterms to be over with because I'm tired of seeing all these signs everywhere. Let's just get it over with. We're coming up to Stanfield Cutoff again. We already passed it one time. And now this will be number two. Number two, number two. Passing it number two. Take it to number two and I'm driving with you. I've also noticed that our gas prices up here seem like they're way less than down the hill, which is kind of a shocker. Bef before uh, 2020, uh, when when gas prices were lower, um, it seemed like we were always the most expensive up here, as opposed to down the hill. But not only are we less expensive up here, uh, down the hill has just gotten out of control. I still think the five and a half bucks up here is still out of control as well, but it is what it is. Vons and some of these other shops over here. There's T-Mobile, Maggio's, Petco, DIY. There's a Starbucks right there, and there's a Starbucks inside Vons. And then over here, you got the Spectrum Store. You got Stater Brothers, Jersey Mike's is over here, Mountain Munchies, just a bunch of good stuff. And look at the view of Snow Summit right there. Wow, so gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that up there. Hello, sun. Hello, sunny. How are you? Well, I'm pretty good. All right, that used to be the Kmart over there with the green roofs, Kmart. And then my first job up here was at Radio Shack over there. Obviously Radio Shack does not exist anymore. 
but that was my first job. And my friend Jeff Wells, who was my manager, he's such a good dude, you guys. He actually runs the Boost Mobile store up here. So if you guys go in there and say that I sent you, maybe he'll take care of you guys even more. He's such a good dude. I got a lot of love for him. But yeah, guys, welcome to Big Bear. And I hope you're all doing great. This is gonna be about it for this video um, until it starts to pick up a little bit later. As I told you guys, I gotta drive down the mountain to go to AAA to take care of my recall thing so I can pay my registration for my other car that's in the shop. Oh, it's so beautiful out here, my gosh. It's so beautiful out here. Captain's Anchorage is one of my all-time favorite restaurants. It's probably my favorite restaurant in Big Bear. We don't have many options up here, but that's, for this area, it's a darn good restaurant. I'm super excited about that place. Best prime rib around. Once again, though, there's not many options, but it's really good prime rib. One of my favorite hotels in Big Bear, the best Western Big Bear Chateau, spectacular place. I mean, not, you know, I'm, I, I'm from Newport Beach, so I guess spectacular is kind of the wrong word for, for, for this location, but it's definitely beautiful. Definitely beautiful. There you go, you can see that little glimpse of blue sky out there. From that point on where the clouds end, as you already saw, that's blue sky as far as the eye can see. But that's gonna be completely engulfed with clouds soon. And we're gonna go through the roundabout and then we're gonna turn off the video. We're gonna be done, done, done. So there's no cars anywhere near me on the right or left, so we're gonna take the little, the easy way through. Just kinda taking both lanes like that. There we go. I'm not being unsafe, so please do not get upset with me. Thank you guys for cruising with me, enjoying the drive around the lake. I, I love you guys so much. You guys are my brothers and sisters. I just, I just really, really, really hope that I do enough for you guys because you guys do so much for me. You guys keep me sane and you guys make me feel like I'm loved. And I love you guys tremendously for that and a million other things. Don't forget guys, don't ever hesitate. If you need me for anything, if you have any questions about town, um, if you're too drunk to drive, hit me up because I don't want you guys to get hurt. I know, and I'm just mentioning the drunk thing because people come up here to vacation and to let off some steam. So, anywho, I love you guys a ton. It is November 7th, 2022 in the Big Bear Lake, California area. We just did a drive around the lake. And, uh, yeah. I will be updating as soon as we get more weather coming in. I'm sorry I sh don't shut up ever. I really am. But it's who I am and I know it's annoying, but I do love you guys a lot. Please stick around after this for the 42 second clip of the beanies because I could really use a little help with those. <laughs> Thank you guys again for everything. Um, really no words can say how much I love you guys and care about you guys. Thank you for everything. You take care now and have a safe, safe day. I'll be updating soon. It's 45 and 10 51 in the morning. Hey guys, <laughs> these are the beanies. So I'm going to post this short little video for both of the, or for a lot of my future videos. But yeah, we've got all black. These are all hundred percent fine Merino wool different color patches on some of them too. Just absolutely stunning. These are stunning, you guys. As I said, we got 96 of them. Boom shakalaka. So yeah, so these are, these are the colors we've got. Hope you guys enjoy them. Love y'all.